Okay, to set your camera up to shoot slow motion, I'm going to walk you through the steps right here. First, we're going to turn on the camera, pushing the front button. It's going to put us right into the video mode. We're going to select this front button. We're going to push it a few times until we get to the wrench, which indicates settings. And push the top shutter button to select that. It's going to go right to the video mode. Right now it's set on 1080-60. This is the black edition. If you've got the silver or white edition, uh, it doesn't have this mode, but I'll give you another option for slow motion. So let's push the shutter button again to select that. It's going to take us into the dialog where we can choose our settings. The first one is the resolution. I'm going to select the shutter button and change it to, by pushing the front button, change it down to 720. Then I'm going to push the front button again to go down to the frames per second. It's set at 60, so I'm going to push the top button to select that and then so 60 or 120 is our option. We're going to do 120 with the black to get nice slow motion and then push the top button again. If you're using the white or silver edition you can do 720 at 60 frames per second and that'll get you nice slow motion too. If you're using the black you can also do 1080 at 60 and that gets you a little higher resolution. Not quite as slow but um, really good quality. Okay so let's select this go to the exit by pushing the front button and hit the shutter again and then there's ex let's exit out of this settings dialog and there we go now our video is set at 720-120 720 resolution at 120 frames a second so now let's go get our shot Okay, so I went out and I got the shot. I went down and I had somebody hold the camera for me and I took a clip uh, underwater in the pool to show you a slow-mo example. Connected the GoPro to the computer with the USB cord and dragged the files over to this folder that I made, Hero 3 slow-mo example. And here are the two files. So we're going to open those up in Cineform, which is GoPro's software. It's downloadable for free from their website and it works really well for editing your clips. So I'm just going to open that up. And I'm going to drag it so it's bigger so we have we can see it better. And I'm just going to import that file that I made. Make sure in the step one, import and convert tab. And then import new files right here. And find your file you dragged it into on your computer. And mine's in the hero slow-mo example. And this is the file I want to use. So open it. It's going to bring it up into the left window here. If you click on it, it'll bring it into the editing window. I shot it upside down because I handed it to someone and hadn't flipped it in the settings before I gave it to them. I wasn't sure how we were going to shoot it. But you can ease, you can flip it in the settings or you can also go into right here this little tab, rotate flip, and just click that and it flips it right over. Now what we want to do is pull out a little piece of this clip that we're going to make slow motion. This was shot at 120 frames a second so when we play it right now it's just going to be regular speed. Um, I'm going to scroll forward to the section I want to use where I dove underwater. And if we just start from there and play, you'll see how fast it happens. So I'm going to just go to the beginning of that. Right before I come in the water, I'm going to click in. That means that's the beginning of our clip we're editing. Then I'm going to scroll it to the end of what the piece of the clip I want, right about there, and click out. That's the section it's going to convert for us. Just a shorter section because remember we're going to slow it down a lot. We're going to go, next step is go into advanced settings and the image size is at 720p, 1280 by 720. We'll just keep it at that. The frame rate is at 120, but we want to slow it down. So we're going to Go select that and go to 23.98p, which is a quote about four, 24 frames a second, which is uh, the frame rate that we want to see it in. And that's going to slow it down more than four times. So I select that and then quality high, click OK, and let's just um, save this as slow mo clip or convert it as slow mo clip and then we do add clip to conversion li list down here, click that, 
and now it says it's waiting over here. So just click on convert. And it's going to start trans converting that to 24 frames a second. And as soon as that's done, we're going to go into the, which um, we can adjust the contrast, brightness, saturation, and the overall look of the clip. And that's going to be, and you can click right here, proceed to step two. Okay, now we're in step two, editing. You'll see the clip is over here. Import converted clips, it's under, and there's our slow-mo clip. If we play it here, you'll see it's in super slow motion. So we want to just um, fix the colors a little bit. You can go into, I like to boost the contrast a little, makes a little more blue, um, maybe brighten it up just a little bit on the exposure. Saturation I don't like to mess with too much. You can see it gets really saturated, poor saturation if you slide that, get that back to the beginning and sharpness. That makes it really sharp, but um, sometimes it gets a little grainy. So I leave that basically where it's at. Um, You'll notice if you do the Pro Tune, it busts the sharpness up. Uh, you can we can look at it here. See, it makes it really contrasty, um, and it boosts the sharpness up. But if you do that, I always I like to go back to um, to no sharpness. And I'm actually gonna go back to none on that, so we get rid of the Pro Tune and go back, boost the contrast up a little, exposure and. Now we're going to do file. I'm happy with that clip. Um, looks good. It's nice slow motion. So now we've got our slow motion clip and we just need to export it to a .mov file. And that way we can pull it into iMovie or Final Cut if you're using Final Cut. Um, but iMovie is free, which I like, and so is Cineform. So if you're just starting out, you probably want to use some free software. These are good ones to use. So let's go file, export. Dot mov and save it here as our exported slow motion and it'll start making that mov file and when it's done you can play it on it looks just like this And if you want to spice it up some more, we can take it into iMovie and speed up some parts and keep some parts slow, and that's going to be the next step we do. Okay, so now we've converted the clip into slow-mo at 24 frames a second. It looks pretty cool, but I want to speed up some of the parts so it looks like those cool GoPro videos that go fast and then they get really slow at parts and then speed back up. So the best way to do that, that we're going to show you right now, is um, open up iMovie. You can also do it with Windows Live Movie Maker. Now we're going to do a file, new project, and we'll call it um, slow motion clip. Widescreen is good, and 24 frames a second. I'll create it, and then it's going to open up this box here. I'm going to import that movie that we just converted. File import movies, and exported slow motion right here. And import it. So now it's importing the movie. We're going to drag it up and we're going to break it apart into separate little clips, some to play at this full slow motion and some to speed up back up closer to regular speed. Uh, we slowed it down more than four times, so if we're going to speed it back up, we're going to have to get it back up to, um, you know, like speed it up like 400% plus to get it closer to regular speed. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. So here's the clip. I'm going to grab that whole thing we just imported. Okay, wait, it's this last one here. And drag this up. And if you just push the, go to the beginning of the clip and you push the space bar, that'll play it. So there's the clip in slow motion. So 
So what I want to do is I'm going to take the beginning portion of this clip, right, coming into the water, and let's go to right about there. If you look at the top left, I'm scrolling with, I'm going to click, and without moving my cursor, I'm going to right click, and go down to split clip. Now we've got two pieces. This is the very beginning to the point where I wanted to start slow-mo. Slow and I'm gonna, this first clip here, I'm gonna go click on this little gear box. You clip adjustments. And I'm gonna speed it up right here, 400%. Okay, so now if we push the space bar, so you go slow, it goes fast, and then it goes to, starts going slow here. Now, I like that fat, that slow there, but then probably when I disappear out of the frame right here, want to split it again, right click, split clip. Now that's the portion we want to keep in slow-mo, so we're going to grab this one. This is the portion we're going to speed up. Let's uh, scroll through to where we want to do slow-mo and split it again. So we'll do fast to there, and maybe right when I get start going up again, right there we'll slow-mo it. So right click and split clip. So we're going to go fast, slow, and then in this clip we're going to do it fast and then just keep this one at slow motion. So I'm going to go on this middle clip here, clip adjustments, and speed it up to 400 percent, and done. Okay, so now we've got our four sections of the clip. Here's regular speed, and then we go into slow-mo right here, and then it goes back to regular speed, so I get right here, and then we go back into slow-mo. So if we put the space bar at the beginning of it, this is how it's going to look. And that is how you make a slow motion clip.